If you've been looking for a 28 day Pilates challenge that is beginner friendly, 100% free, and is supportive of your weight loss goals, I'm excited to share with you my new 28 day Pilates challenge and how you can get started today. Let's go. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a certified Pilates instructor and occupational therapist, a mom of two, and I make Pilates and fitness workouts right here on my YouTube channel, Rachel's Fit Pilates. First, we're gonna see if this challenge is a good fit for you. Then we're gonna go over the details of the challenge. And if you stay to the end, I'll go over a little bit more about Pilates and weight loss and why I've changed my opinion about it. First, let's see if this challenge is the right fit for you. Now, I've noticed there's two different types of people who look for Pilates workouts on YouTube. And you'll know which one you are when I say it. The first are people whose goal is to get better at the actual practice of Pilates. They value the tradition of it and want to learn it in the way that Joseph Pilates taught it in the 1920s when it was called Contrology. And then there's people who are searching for Pilates workouts who view it as fitness. So as a means to help them reach their health and fitness goals. So maybe they're at a place in their life where the heavy gym workouts are a little too much, they want something a little bit more low impact, but they still want to get a good workout in. Their goals are to work on core strength, pelvic floor, flexibility. Their goal with Pilates is to achieve their own fitness goals. I create workouts for those people because that's exactly how I am. I'm not necessarily concerned if it's considered Pilates or if it's strength training. I like the combination of both and that's how you'll find my workouts. So they are based in Pilates and then I layer on exercises from strength training. I am fine with a combination of Pilates and strength training as long as it helps me reach my goals. So if that's you too, let's dive in. So I wanna go over three ways that I designed this challenge to help you reach your goals and how exactly you can get started. So number one, the program progressively challenges you. Now, if you were to just come on here and try random workouts with different instructors, there's really no way that you can guarantee that you're progressively challenging yourself. This is a principle we call progressive overload, which just means you're gradually increasing the stress that you're placing on your muscles and your nervous system to stimulate change in your body. This is not just for bodybuilders, it's for regular people like us. If you have a goal of toned or sculpted arms, you are gonna have to work those arms and challenge them in a way that will stimulate change in the muscle underneath the fat. So for this challenge, I'm starting with more body weight and then we progress up, we try to add in dumbbells, we add ankle weights. I try to really teach you how you can strengthen yourself at home and build up in strength. The second component of this program is that I took a lot of care into the pace of the workout. Now, if you've done other Pilates workouts online, you might feel like there is a lot of talking, there is a lot of time wasted for setup, and that's something that I'm trying to avoid. What these programs are lacking is time under tension. So how long is that muscle activated? How long are you actively working it in the 20 minute workout? So when I'm creating a workout with time under tension in mind, I'm trying to minimize transition. So staying in one spot and doing five exercises. I'm trying to give you cues when we set up to really focus on the muscle and not have other muscles kick in. I am not too preoccupied on the breath because that can hinder movement. If you are only focusing on that, you're getting confused and you're not focusing on the actual muscles that we're trying to work. I use elements like interval timers to make sure I stay within a shortened rest period to make sure you're working as much as possible in those 20 minutes. Not all 20 minute workouts are created equal and I really take care to make it an efficient workout for you. I think what makes my workouts quite different is that I had an exercise science degree I had a lot of strength training experience. So when I'm looking at the Pilates exercises that I have to choose from, I'm going through them with a fine tooth comb and only selecting ones that I think are science-based, evidence-based to help actually strengthen you. So if there's an exercise with a lot of choreography or it's quite complicated and there's not a lot of time under tension, I'm not gonna use it. So you'll find my exercises are quite simple. Simple doesn't mean easy but simple for you to be able to get through. And then we keep trying to challenge and layer on more elements of difficulty that are proven to help get you stronger, get you more results. And the third way I structured this program to set you up for success, and that is from my perspective to look at how can I help keep you more consistent. In theory, it's very easy to 
not be consistent with a free challenge and to not show up you've got no late fees you didn't pay for a package you have to finish by the end of the month i'm not gonna know if you didn't show up so because this is set up in a way where there's not as many consequences you're gonna need a deeper sense of personal accountability to complete the challenge but i have to look at how could i make it easier for you to show up Number one, I make challenges. So you know exactly what you need to do that day. Number two, I make a calendar and I make it free and you can click the picture each day to take you right to your YouTube workout. I encourage you to get an accountability partner. So in this video here, I went over how to get the best results from a 28 day Pilates challenge. And we talked about having that accountability partner. So either someone in your life or commenting on the video where I can see it be your accountability partner. And finally, I take great care in the videos that I make and I try to make them enjoyable. So instead of I have to do 20 minutes of exercise today, it's I get to do 20 minutes of exercise today and it's gonna be an enjoyable time and I'm gonna be taking care of myself and I know she's gonna have pleasant music and it's gonna be easy to follow and I'm gonna feel challenged. And because it was a good experience today, I will be less likely to talk myself out of it tomorrow. That's something I found so rewarding with my 28 day wall Pilates challenge is I had so many people telling me that they were consistent for the first time in their life with this workout that they really enjoy doing. Those things all can really help you be consistent. So let's talk about how you can get started. Now, first you wanna look for the challenge calendar. I will have it linked in the description and also in a pinned comment. From here, click the link and you will be able to put your email and then get the plan. So it's gonna be a free PDF. You can download it to your phone, save it in files, or you can print the plan and then check it off each day. The workouts themselves, you can either click the calendar, bring it right there, or if you watch it on your TV, for example, you wanna find my channel, Rachel's Fit Pilates. Make sure you're subscribed, it's gonna be a lot easier to find that way. And then if you scroll down, you'll find the 28 Day Beginner Pilates Challenge. There are 28 videos, but two of the days are gonna be optional rest days, so you can either fully take a break that day, or you can do the video of the day or add it on to one of the days before or after if you would like to double it up like that. Now I'll be releasing videos as the month goes on. So if you see something that says scheduled or members only, don't worry. You will have access to the video well before you need it. And if you'd like to join my membership community here on YouTube, you can click join on my main profile page. And there's a section to either be part of the community or have early access to videos. So you'd get the videos at least two days before the release date. Also give you access to the members only private Facebook group. If you'd like to connect with others on there, I invite you to join our community. Now, does this challenge require equipment? I would say it could be optional. The reason I do this is because I think you will have better results if you do add the equipment. So definitely a set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you could use two glass jars. Those are one and a half pounds each. You could use a can of vegetables or you could use two water bottles. Some of the workouts also have ankle weights. It's completely optional as well. You can definitely do the workout without those, but that will add extra challenge. You could always do the challenge once and then get the ankle weights and then repeat it a second time. A lot of people did that with my 28 day wall Pilates challenge. A few of the other workouts, one with a ball, one with sliders or towels, those are on rest days. So I specifically try to make it so that you will not have to purchase equipment to complete the challenge. You can either just choose a stretch video or skip the workout that day. So now we've gone over the three ways that I designed this program to set you up for success, the details of the new challenge. The last thing I wanna go over is Pilates as it relates to weight loss and why I've changed my opinion about it. Now you may have heard people say Pilates is not good for weight loss or Pilates is not about weight loss. And honestly, I was one of those people. My mindset was, well, you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So why would I ever make workouts that talk about weight loss? I can't guarantee that you will be in a calorie deficit. And I always cringe when I see fat burning wall Pilates workout or fat burning workout. There's just no way that they can guarantee that you are burning fat. So I never wanted to be like that. What changed for me is is leading my 28 day wall Pilates challenge. This video had over a million and a half views. I've read through hundreds of comments and got to know you. And I've realized I could do a better job of guiding you instead of saying, 
you should be caring more about these other things that are important to me. For me, Pilates has allowed me to feel a lot stronger in my core. It helps strengthen my pelvic floor after having children. When weight loss is important to you. Because by me saying it's not about weight loss, I want you to know that that's truly not what Pilates is about. You think, okay, well, she can't help me. And you go look somewhere else. And unfortunately, most people who do talk about weight loss are preying on your insecurities. So I feel like there's not very good quality content for people who are looking to lose weight and who wanna do it in a healthy way, especially in the fitness space. So I'm trying to be a little bit more balanced and more open in talking. Okay, if sculpted arms are a goal for you, how can I help you do that? So I can do my part of fitting that exercise piece and then you can do your part of trying to achieve weight loss through whatever means you're doing. Even for myself, yes, of course, I work out to be stronger, for my kids to see me working out, to live a nice, long, happy life, but I also like to work out for the way that it makes me look, and I think that that's okay. So I'm trying to do a better job of meeting you where you're at, and I hope that my exercise piece in your weight loss journey can be very supportive and help you be consistent with exercise for maybe the first time in your life. That is what I will do, and I ask that you just be patient with yourself. These things do take time, and when I had a huge surge in people who found me in August, in November, I was getting a ton of comments saying, wow, the people in my life are actually noticing that something's different in my body, and they're asking, what kind of workouts are you doing? Comments about people losing a stone. I'm like, what is a stone? I don't know, an American had to look that up. I'm like, wow, 14 pounds. But the combination of being consistent with exercise and then doing their part with the weight loss, that's really cool. And I'm so glad to be a part of that journey for people. And I hope I can be that for you too. So let's do this together. Let's change our habits. Let's unlock new parts of ourselves. Let's create routines we've never had before. Let's have our kids see us taking care of ourselves. It's hard to start. It's hard to prioritize exercise, I know. I always wanna clean my house first before I feel like I can exercise. But it's important too. You can comment below if you have an accountability partner in mind, share it with them, or ask in the comments if anyone would like to be your accountability partner. I'm excited for you to get started and I'm so glad our paths have crossed. So here we go.